Now, it's a lot of the past mixed with much of the present. A feast for the eyes of any enthusiast, from Civil War to memora Civil, Civil War memorabilia to the innovations of modern day. The National Museum of Health and Medicine is an incredibly understated treasure trove for those who can only find themselves enriched by simply walking through its doors. The year was 1862. Surgeon General William Hammond ordered Union Army medical officers to collect specimens from the field for the Army Medical Museum. Museum's mission is to preserve, collect specimens of morbid anatomy and medical technology, tools and uh, artifacts that will understand, help us understand the care of the soldier and to raise awareness in the interest of the history of medicine, especially American military medicine. Exactly 150 years later, it's moved to a brand new space, giving visitors greater access to what's now called the National Museum of Health and Medicine's impressive collection of artifacts. The museum's 25 million object collection. One of three galleries, the collection that teaches, impresses Civil War teachers and students with an extensive display from the Civil War era. Bullets and shrapnel to the bullet path in this skull of a 54th Regiment Massachusetts infantry soldier. We see and are very specially grateful to have the attention of the military service member and their family, the retiree, the veteran from all over the country. It boasts presidential pieces like the bullet that killed President Lincoln and part of a bloody sleeve saved from Lincoln's last hours. There's the vertebrae showing where the bullet pierced President Garfield's spine and cross sections of President Grant's throat, which was infected with cancer. We have something for just about everybody here. You'll find the skeleton of the first chimp and one of the first monkeys in space. Then there's this giant, the leg of a man infected with elephantitis. A lung shows the effects of smoking and a heart scarred by congestive heart failure. And if you want to see brains, the anatomy and pathology gallery has got them. It's also home to organs, showing the effects of trauma, and skeletons showing stages of development. Medicine is important to the military. It's important to care for and treat and improve the health and well-being of the active duty service member. But military medicine is important to the nation. Military medicine takes on the modern showing challenges and innovations. We are even working to make sure that we can collect things down to the nano level. From advances through the ages in facial reconstruction to an outstanding display of a section of the Balad Hospital in Iraq. Bay 2 was the place where the worst grievously wounded were brought. The floor is really mute evidence of the work that went on there to save every life that passed through those doors. The, uh, chips in the floor show the gurney legs being kicked into place, the dark stains or the blood stains of the persons that were treated on that floor, the yellow stain shows the antiseptic used to prepare that wound site for treatment. It's here that medicine and history, like former curator General Walter Reed's microscope, one of the museum's collection of more than 2,000 microscopes, believed to be the largest in the world, unites with modern art like the shapes of disco infirmary to create a military legacy that will continue to live on for generations. Petty Officer Michael Wilkin, Pentagon Channel News. The National Museum of Health and Medicine is located on the Fort Detrick Forest Glen Annex in Silver Spring, Maryland.